hi hello welcome to my channel learn more math today we are going to solve a problem from 7th chapter coordinate geometry exercise 7.1 fifth problem already we have completed introduction to coordinate geometry first second third fourth so if you don't watch these problems i will give link in the description so first you watch them then after watch this video so this is the fifth problem so see here what he is asking in a classroom four friends are seated at the points a comma b comma c and d as shown in the figure so jerina and funny walk into the class and after observing for a few minutes jerina asks funny don't you notice that a b c d is a square funny disagrees using distance formula decide who is correct and why so see here uh, there are four students seated in the classroom while entering into the classroom jerina asks after observing the four students uh, asks funny don't you notice that a b c d is a square so the students who has uh, uh, the students who are there in the classroom seated in a square she is saying but funny disagrees so using distance formula is asking to find as who is correct suppose uh, let uh, the four positions let the positions of a b c d are uh, uh, formed a square now we have to find the coordinates from the figure the so see here from the figure the coordinates of the points are a 3 comma 4 so x 3 y is 4 so the coordinates of a is 3 comma 4 and b equal to 6 comma 7 so x is 6 and y is 7 so b equal to 6 comma 7 c equal to 9 comma 4 so x is 9 and y is 4 c equal to 9 comma 4 and d equal to 6 comma 1 x is 6 y is 1 so these are the coordinates of the points so now let a b c d so now have to check whether they form a square or not so how can we check by finding the distances between a b b c c d and d a we have to check if we get all the lengths of four sides are equal that is nothing but if the distance between a b b c c d and d a are equal we can say whether it is a square or a rhombus again we have to find the distance between bd and ac if bd is equal to ac we can say uh, a b c d form a square then uh, who is correct we can decide so first we have to find the distance between a b b c c d and d a by using the distance formula so what is the distance formula distance formula d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so now have to find the distance between a b so the distance between a 3 comma 4 and b 6 comma 7 is a b is equal to so square root of x2 minus x1 whole square so see here this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 x2 minus x1 whole square is 6 minus 3 whole square so here we get 6 minus 3 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so 7 minus 4 whole square 7 minus 4 whole square uh, see here what we get 6 minus 3 is 3 3 square is 9 so directly I am writing here 6 minus 6 minus 3 is 3 3 square is 3 into 3 9 so plus here 7 minus 4 is also 3 7 minus 4 is also 3 again 3 square is 3 into 3 9 so here it is square root 8 9 plus 9 square root 9 plus 9 is square root 18 so square root 18 units so this is the distance between a and b so next we have to find the distance between b and c so the distance between b 6 comma 7 and c 9 comma 4 is so it is denoted by bc is equal to 
So again we have to use x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So this is x1 y1 and it is x2 y2. x2 minus x1 whole square. That is 9 minus 6 whole square. 9 minus 6 whole square. Plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So 4 minus 7 whole square. 4 minus 7 whole square. So 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 square is 9 again. 3 square is 9. So here 4 minus 7 is minus 3. Minus 3 whole square is minus 3 into minus 3. Again we get plus 9 only. So square root of 9 plus 9 is square root 18. Again square root 18 units. So this is the distance between B and C. So next we have to find the distance between C and D. So see here how can we find. Next, the distance between C 9 comma 4 and D 6 comma 1 is. So again, uh, distance formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So it is x1 y1, it is x2 y2. So x2 minus x1 whole square, that is 6 minus 9 whole square. Uh, 6 minus 9 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. 1 minus 4 whole square. 1 minus 4 whole square. So A is equal to just we have to simplify it. So 6 minus 9 is minus 3. Minus 3 whole square is plus 9. Plus 1 minus 4 is also minus 3. Minus 3 whole square is plus 9 again. So square root of 9 plus 9 is a square root of 18 units. So this is the distance between C and D. So next we have to find the distance between D and A. So the distance between D 6 comma 1 and A 3 comma 4 is again uh, square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So it is x1 y1 it is x2 y2. x2 minus x1 whole square is a 3 minus 6 whole square. Plus y2 minus y1 whole square is 4 minus 1 whole square. 4 minus 1 whole square. Is equal to square root of. So just you have to simplify again. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. <coughs> minus 3 whole square is plus 9. Plus 4 minus 1 is a 3. 3 square is also 9. So square root of 9 plus 9 is a square root 18 units. Square root of 18 units. So this is the distance between D and A. So we have found the distance between A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. So next we have to find the distance between B, D and A, C. Then only we can decide whether they form square or not. So now we have to find the distance between B and C, C and A. So the distance between B and D. The distance between B 6 comma 7 and D 6 comma 1 is. So it is denoted by B D is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square is 6 minus 6 whole square. Plus y2 minus y1 whole square is 1 minus 7 whole square. 1 minus 7 whole square. So just we have to simplify it. 6 minus 6 is 0. 0 square is 0. So here 1 minus 7 is minus 6. So minus 6 whole square is 36. So 0 plus root 36. Square root 0 plus 36 is a square root 36. It is nothing but a 6 units. So 36 can be written as 6 into 6. So BD is equal to 6 units. So next we have to find the distance between A and C. So the distance between A and C is uh, the distance between A 3 comma 4 and C 9 comma 4 is denoted by AC or CA is equal to square root of 
x2 minus x1 whole square that is 9 minus 3 whole square 9 minus 3 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square that is 4 minus 4 whole square 4 minus 4 whole square So just we have to simplify here 9 minus 3 is a 6 6 square is 36 plus 4 minus 4 is 0 0 square is again 0 so square root of 36 plus 0 is square root 36 square root 36 is nothing but 6 units square root 36 is 6 so now we have the lengths of all the four sides and the lengths of uh, uh, diagonals. So see, here. so see here we have AB is equal to root 18 units, BC is also root 18, CD is also root 18, DA is also root 18 units uh, and BD is equal to 6 units and CA is equal to 6 units. So now the lengths of all the four sides are equal and the lengths of the diagonals are equal then ABCD is a square therefore ABCD is a square therefore V is correct for us Jerina is correct therefore Jerina is correct so and why he is asking V is correct and why Jerina is correct because so therefore Jerina is correct because the four students are seated as the corners of a square so this is a fifth problem so this it is an application uh, it is an application problem so just uh, we have to uh, use only distance formula we have used only distance formula here also so that's all today's class we'll meet in the next class with another problem thanks for watching